Let's start. Lefty's losing it in Lefty Heartland of DC. And here we're going to see a man in a dress chanting for Palestine. Mm. Free, free! Palestine! 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 Now... I do not have to tell our learned viewers what would happen to that man or any man in a dress if he walked down any street in Gaza. It would not end well. And Prue, uh, what these people don't seem to understand, that the, that the only place in the Middle East where alternative lifestyles uh, are protected, where these people have some rights, is Israel. And yet they are so against the only Jewish state and the only place where they would be safe in the Middle East. Yeah, it's it's astounding. You know, you, you look, we don't think they have much intellect. We've never thought that about these people, but they've clearly been brainwashed or maybe they. this is the fault of an education system that they don't understand history. They're not aware, aware of what's going on in the world. Uh, they're happy to latch on to any bandwagon that they think, you know, poor things might need their support. It's making them feel good about themselves because they have have no intellectual identity, uh, self-awareness. It's really tragic, but they're so dangerous. Well, they're, they're just idiots who have bought into this neo-Marxist neo -Marxist notion of oppressor and oppressed. They've decided the Israelis are oppressors and the Palestinians must be the oppressed. So that's who they side with. Never mind that uh, their lifestyle uh, would see them... Uh, beaten, jailed, perhaps even killed if mm. they were to set foot in Gaza. Now let's uh, watch Democrat Ilan Omar have a bit of a freak out here when a journalist asks her squad colleague about why Israel shouldn't take action against terrorists who behead babies and burn entire families alive. How many more killings is enough for you? Is it a thousand more? 2,000 more, 3,000 more? How many more Palestinians would make you happy if they died? Do you, you, will you be fine if all of the people of Gaza were gone? Would that make you happy? Would that be the thing that makes you proud? And maybe that's the question you should ask Richie. Is he okay? How many more Palestinian lives is he comfortable with? Because I am not comfortable with any more. I mean, she should be posing those questions to Hamas, who put their headquarters and uh, store their ammunition in hospitals and, and put uh, uh, their rocket launchers next to playgrounds. I mean, they're the people you should be addressing those questions to. Now, let's go to this lefty losing it. Don't ever ask the left to explain themselves or even the signs they carry. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. What happens to Israel? Curious. Oh, please don't touch my microphone. That's not okay. We, you're not going to tell us what happens to Israel? Will you tell us what happens to Israel? If Palestine is free from the river to the sea? What does that mean? Settler colonialism is the real terrorism? Prue, we know what that line, that chant that we've been hearing in Australia as well means. It means there is no Israel. It means there is no Jewish state. It means ethnic genocide. So if you're going to carry that sign, then I think you should own it. Well, it's they're just moronically parroting words. They don't really understand the fact that apart from the fact that I think they both were smoking weed before they actually went onto the streets, they're so out of it, uh, <laughs> unless that is their intellect. Maybe they're just showing how stupid they are. But, you know, they, they had no idea. They couldn't explain themselves. They're just, you know, poor things who have latched onto a bandwagon, like the idea of that little catchy, uh, you know, from the river to the sea, and, you know, off they go. They're just mindless fools and dangerous. They are dangerous, mindless, useful idiots. Uh, now to the UK where police will arrest you in your own house for misgendering someone or posting a transphobic limerick on Twitter, but uh, chanting about jihad and killing Jews seems to be tolerated. But police did 
confront these young men who were seen with a British flag, uh, the St George Cross here, and gave them a stern warning about any naughty behaviour. Let's listen to this exchange with the constabulary. For the moment, anything racist or even close no, to racism no, is said. Right. 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 Hang on, no, no, no. Right. 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 Let me finish. Let me finish. Right. 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 The moment anything gets anything close to that, all right, people are going to start getting arrested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, just, it's just a verbal warning to let you know we're all on the same yeah. page. And staying in the UK, let's have a look at what happened when someone brought a pride flag to a pro Palestinian rally in London. Uh, I can tell you the flag did not last long, obviously, it was uh, uh, dealt with in um, some fairly brutal circumstances. Yeah, uh, again, uh, this is not just uh, lefties losing it, but these lefties turning on each other. Staying in the UK, here are some lefties triggered by British symbols. Look how many police officers it takes to protect a man hold holding a St George flag. <laughs> Now let's have a look at these charming individuals removing images of missing Israeli children taken hostage by Hamas. Now, that is happening not just in the UK, but across the US and elsewhere in the West. And I could show you literally hours of similar footage, hours. It's depressing. But there is a fight back. And I want to show you these two New York lefties and how they react when they're confronted about removing posters of missing women and children. Do it. I'm a citizen here, and this is American citizens. You got it. You're not going to do it. Get the out of here. This is American citizens. Got kidnapped. You get the out of here. Put your face. Get the out of here. American citizens. You bitch. American citizens got kidnapped. That was in Brooklyn. You get the feeling that couple aren't used to being challenged. Uh, now to New Jersey, where an anti-Hamas billboard has been removed after around 100 calls to police. I don't know why. This seems to be entirely accurate. The billboard reads, oh, don't be naive. Hamas would chop your head off too. I think that's a message a few people need to actually comprehend. Uh, Prue, not sure why police were being called here when... Uh, I would say that is a harsh, but a statement of fact, a harsh statement of fact. It is, but the problem is that the police force, forces around the world are politicised now, and they're also worried about being litigated against and hauled over the coals. It's all about PC now, and it seems that the most vocal minorities are the ones that are going to be accommodated. Uh, it's all, you know, when you look at all the, those previous um, losing it clips, you can see that there, it's a result of indiscriminate immigration policies where people are allowed to come to countries and they will not adopt um, the practices and uh, the, the culture 
um, and the privilege of being a citizen of that new country. And, you know, they're never going to assimilate. They're never going to accept that uh, what may be a, a, a Christian values uh, community uh, is acceptable to their standards. And this is why we are having all these confrontations and unrest. It's, it's concerning, really concerning, and I don't know how we're going to ever solve the problem.